Now, the problem that a lot of medical students have when it comes to studying in medical school is there's an overwhelming amount of study material that they have to cover in so little time, especially when preparing for an upcoming exam, which leads us to cramming one month's worth of study material into less than 24 hours. And most of the time, students turn to ineffective methods like rereading, highlighting, which takes a lot of time to do and only leads to large amounts of stress and anxiety levels through the roof. And so in this video, we're gonna talk about the three techniques you can use instead to more effectively cram and pass your exams. Now tip number one is to use the 80-20 rule. Now this is also known as the Pareto Principle, which says that 80% of the results come from 20% of the inputs. Now ask yourself, what are the 20% of concepts, topics, and facts that are asked 80% of the time in exams, or put another way, the majority or the 80% of the questions that will be asked in your exams will come only from a few selected high yield topics, the 20%. Because what most students do is they pull up the lecture handouts and study all of them from start to finish. But this is not an efficient use of your time, especially when you only have 24 hours to cram for an exam. Because you can't just cram a month's worth of lecture topics into less than 24 hours. So just figure out what topics are most examinable or most likely to appear in your exam. Now this is what most people call high yield topics. And some of the ways that you can figure out which are high yield are looking through past exams and see what topic questions and set of options keep coming up over and over again in those past questions. And this will give you a general idea of what will most likely come out in your exams. Because if you think of it, the same teachers who made those past exams that you have with you now are most of the time the same people who will be creating your exams. So it makes sense to figure out what topics or questions are they repeatedly asking in those past exams to sort of predict what will most likely come out in your exam. So you can put more time and effort in mastering those topics. But always remember that when you're doing practice questions, instead of heading on to the next number after you look at the answer and explanation, you should also explore why the other options are not the answer and why are they even included among the set of options. What are their similarities and differences? And what are some of the ways that you might get confused with them so that the next time that the same topic is asking your exams, even if it's not the exact question and set of options, you will still be able to reason your way to the correct answer. Tip number two is to use high yield study resources. Now when cramming, first find out how can you learn the main idea of a certain topic in the fastest way possible. And this can be through the use of review books such as First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, which distills and summarizes the most high yield concepts that you have to master. It also includes pre-made mnemonics to help you remember lists of non-intuitive information so that you won't spend any more time creating your own. And another way of learning a certain topic in the fastest way possible is by watching YouTube videos on a certain topic because you might spend an entire day learning about a complex topic if you force yourself to learn it by just reading about it in your hands out in textbooks. So for example, if you're trying to study respiratory physiology, instead of going through the textbooks, you can also watch lectures by Ninja Nerd on YouTube to get a general sense of the main idea of a topic first, so it'll be easier for you to understand the details of that topic when you go back to studying your lecture handouts. And lastly, make sure to sleep for at least six hours. Well, ideally it should be at least seven, because I know when you're cramming, every hour matters a lot. So yeah, you can go with maybe at least six hours. So this means you should avoid pulling an all-nighter, because since you're you're cramming and you're uh, stuffing a lot of information into your memory in a short amount of time, you have to be able to remember most of it for tomorrow's exam. And the most important way to do that is to sleep on it. I know you might hesitate to do this because you might think that it's a waste of time that you can use to cover more study material instead, but remember, there's a big chance you might forget a lot of the things that you've just studied for the whole day if you stayed up all night. Also, when you're cramming for an exam in less than 24 hours and you don't don't have much time left, your energy levels will rapidly fall. And one of the ways you can maintain your energy over long hours of studying, even when you're tired, is to take frequent 20 minute naps. Now, if you would like to know more about how to study even when you're tired, you can check out this video over here. Now, thank you so much for watching and see you later. Bye.